The clock is taking on a major freeway closure tonight. Here's a live look at the 210 freeway in Irwindale. You can see traffic is slow go. This is where a huge renovation project will kick off in less than two hours. At 11 p.m., Caltrans will shut down the westbound lanes of the 210. Now, it will happen between Irwindale Avenue and the 605. Westbound drivers will be diverted onto the eastbound side with three lanes of traffic running in either direction until next week. KCAL 9's Nicole Comstock is live for us and drivers. Nicole are hoping this isn't Carmageddon all over again. Yeah, as you can imagine, Leslie, no one's very happy about it. This is only a small portion of the freeway that they're closing, but it's one that is very heavily traveled by many people out here. So it is expected to create some big delays. You can see some cones out here on the freeway tonight. The project not expected to start until 11, but you can see that traffic is already starting to slow down. Getting ready to shut it down. Caltrans crews are placing safety equipment along the 210 in Irwindale. In just a short time, a short stretch of the freeway's westbound lanes will be closed to all traffic, and they'll remain closed for five days. On a scale of 1 to 10, how annoying do you think it's going to be? I think it's going to be really annoying because <laughs> in the mornings usually it takes me about an hour and a half. Oh, 10. No doubt. California traffic's already a 10 as is, so. So drivers are cringing at the thought of another Carmageddon, the dreaded 405 freeway closure of 2011 that didn't turn out to be all that bad after all. And in fact, Carmageddon was so successful because people stayed away. So if people take that lesson and apply it here, we won't have the Carmageddon. Caltrans is encouraging drivers to take alternate routes like the 10 or the 60 because detouring through the street where Foothill turns into Huntington is expected to be backed up. You can actually stay on the 210 if you're brave enough, but crews will be diverting westbound drivers over to three lanes on the eastbound side. So that will be the epicenter of the bottleneck. As for why, well, they're replacing parts on the San Gabriel River Bridge and bringing the freeway into compliance with current standards will require a little nip and tuck. That bridge is 50 years old. You know, mm -hmm. we all need a little tune up at 50. So uh, we will be replacing the hinges in two locations, taking care of some other um, items, some cosmetic items, rebuilding that barrier. Drivers who have to take this route every day say they don't have another choice. I know the area pretty well, so I can probably get around it. But for those that don't, they're probably going to have a hard time. <laughs> and if you miss out on the freeway closure this time around on the westbound side of the 210, they're doing the same thing on the eastbound side in August. Reporting live tonight, I'm Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News.